Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, as you must be aware, I am creating a series of videos um, on power system protections and one of the devices that I am working is the Cell 751, a feeder protection relay. Well, today I have a very short video and it's related with um, the possibility of connecting this, re this relay with a personal computer. Today we are dealing with the PC interface with the cell 751 okay the first thing that the first thing that you need to understand is that this this relay by Schweizer has at least three uh, three different ways to communicate between the, in, the 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 personal computer and the protection relay. Okay, um, there is um, there is a very simple way to communicate, and that is a web server. Um, and it's very simple. It's uh, the device. It's connected directly to the to the computer or through a switch and in using the IP address and TCP IP protocol um, and a web browser, uh, you, can, you can have access to the relay um, and, and you can see uh, some of the features, okay? Um, today, the, 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 the short video will be related with this first option, the web server, okay? Another way is using a very specialized software by Schweizer, and that is the Accelerator Quick Set Cell 5030, okay? Um, the Accelerator is a software, a dedicated software for communication to the relay and, and using the Ethernet uh, port and the TCP IP. Uh, however, um, I will spend time um, regarding this, <coughs> this software later okay and then there is a third option and that is using the classical ASI command and um, in this case you need a software that use the classical terminal emulation so uh, the terminal emulation okay and um, I will not cover this um, at the moment uh, if there is any requirement of using the ASI protocol probably I will do a video later okay <clears throat> However, let's start directly with this, okay? The first thing that you need to, to know is that um, if, if you have the device outside the, the installation, I mean, if you have the device isolated uh, and you have DC supply to your, to your uh, feeder protection relay, it, you can use the Ethernet port, the RG45 that this relay have at the back or, or the rear uh, side, and you can connect a classical Ethernet cable, and then you can connect the, um, the Ethernet cable, the second terminal of this Ethernet cable to your personal computer, and that's all, okay? What I'm trying to say is that you can do the, uh, the direct connection just by taking the Ethernet cable and from the, from the, from the relay to the PC and that's all, okay? However, there are a few things that you must understand here. The first thing that you need to understand is that the relay must be inside the same domain of the computer, okay? If you are using the direct connection between the relay and the computer, well, you can allow your computer to detect the the IP address and um, the relay and the router, the route, um, the relay and the and the computer will be in the same IP address, the classical 192.168.1.1, okay? Um, that is the case if you are a, a, if you enable your personal computer with uh, automatic IP address detection, okay? Otherwise, you need to set manually the IP address, uh, but that is another history, okay? 
And uh, another thing that you must understand is that this device that we are using here is taken from the bots and is having the default IP address, okay? All the Schweizer relays, they have a default IP address uh, coming from factory, okay? In this case, um, if you go to the user manual, you will find that the default IP address is the classical 192.168.1 and Two, okay, and the default router again is the 192.168.1.1. Okay, um, now um, what we need to do is something very simple. What we need to do is basically um, jump into the browser. You can use Internet Explorer if you if you are using Internet Explorer or more or Mozilla or Fire, Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. Okay. Um, in a minute, I will do so, um, and I'm using my Google Chrome installation at my personal laptop using Windows 10, okay? Um, what I will do now is I already create the connection between the uh, the relay and and my personal computer. Okay, um, if you are if you are used to work with um, Ethernet uh, connections, uh, it's typical that you can use um, a classical pin to identify if the devices are connected. Okay, what I will do now is I use uh, I will pin the cell uh, seven five one that I have here at the lab and see the response, okay? Now uh, I activate the command prompt. You can do that in, in Windows, depending on the version that you are using. And what I will do is just pin, okay? The one, uh, the 192.168.1.2, uh, okay? And what is happening now is that my personal computer is sending a pin and there is a reply, as you can see over there, for uh, four packages has been sent and zero loss. That means that in this case, the cell uh, 751 is connected to my personal computer. Okay. Now, let me close this uh, command prompt. And let me keep with my explanation about the PC interfaces at the cell 751. And specifically now, I will tell you about the web server option, okay? Well, using the web browser, uh, what you need to do is use the IP address. And I, I will do that in a minute for you. But when we um, use the web, uh, the web browser and we use the IP address, we obtain the front page that you can see here below. OK, the first thing that you will realize is that this is a device that is coming with some security. OK, um, what I'm trying to say is that you you, if you have the IP address, you can get to the web uh, to the web server and try to make the communication. However, the device will ask you a login. Okay, um, this device has um, typically two types of level access level. Okay, the level the access level number one that is called the ACC that is basically view only okay that means that with this kind of access you can see meters report communications relay status and settings but is only for showing the the data is viewing only okay if you want to make changes in this relay, you need to have access, access level number two, and that receives the name, that receives the name of 2AC, okay? The level two, 2AC allow the user to get access and have more, more control about the features. In, fa in, in fact, you will be able to view and change features in the relay, okay? Well, then when you select the, the access level, level one or level two, ACC or two AC, then you need to uh, log in with a password, okay? 
uh, when this device is coming from the from the factory from Schweizer, um, this device has a default settings, okay? And those default settings are coming with password by default, okay? Well, uh, the default passwords are included into the instruction manual of the cell 751. And specifically, if you go to sec section number seven, section number seven table, um, I think it's 7.40, 7 uh, it will give you the factory default password for this device, okay? At least there are three, uh, three different uh, passwords for level one and level two uh, and level C, okay? I will not discuss those password in detail at the moment, but what I want to do right now is I would like to go to the browser and show you um, some of the features that you can find when you are using the web server connection to the cell 751. Well, now what I will do is I have here the browser. Um, I am using a computer with uh, equipped with Windows, and and in this case is Windows 10, and I am using Google Chrome. Okay. Uh, what you need to do is go in here to um, address and include the IP address, default IP address of this. Uh, device and right now you are able to see that we have here the welcoming uh, window of this uh, of this web uh, server for the cell 751 okay uh, now as you can see the for security reasons the web server is asking for a, a login and you have over there to um, to access level okay access level ACC that as you can see over there you can read over there is view only and then we have the second level that is the 2AC that is basically a level that allow you to to view and to change uh, data and settings inside this uh, relay protection relay okay what i will do now is uh, this relay is, is brand new as a consequence i will use view and change and when you say view and change you need to include uh, the acc password or a, a to a AC password, okay? I'm sorry. Now I am including the password and let's go. We are here in business, okay? Um, I'm not sure if your screen resolution is quite good to see everything here, but at the moment we are inside the web server of this amazing cell 751, okay? Here you can see there are several um, several menus over here, and you can see there is one for meter, one for reports, one for communications, relay status, settings, and systems, okay? Uh, the first one that I would like to show you as we are working with the PC interface is I can open here and, and communications, and I would like to go to the Ethernet, okay? And what you can see over here is the communication over the Ethernet port that is happening now, okay? Uh, in this case, you can see what is the MAC address of this device. Then we have here the IP address of the relay, again, 192.168.1.2. And here you can see the classical subnet mask and the default getaway uh, that we 
that we already defined 192, 168, 11, okay? At this moment, you can see also how many packages has been sent and received, the number of bytes, and if there is any error is presented here. Regarding the meters, of course, at this moment, there is not, there is not measurements connected to this device. This device is totally disconnected from the grid. That is the reason that currents and voltages, all of them are zero, okay? Um, also here, if you would like to see some rep, uh, some reports, they are reports related with uh, events. However, because this relay has not been connected to the grid, there is not information that I can present to you over there, okay? Here, there are more settings that you can uh, modify, and also here, uh, you can see more information about the settings for the port F, for the port 1. Again, the port 1 is the Ethernet port, okay? However, it, this video is only to show you the main features related with this web uh, server, okay? I will not be using this web server for the day-by-day -day communication, but this is a tool that can be used for you when you are at the field, okay? Uh, something that I would like to say before I move on is that if you want to have a better understanding and a better explanation about this PC interface, I highly suggest, suggest you that you go to the instruction manual of this cell 751 relay and you can over there um, read more explanations and details about the interface okay all my videos they are very simplified and short and they are just to open your eyes and go deeper into the understanding and for the deep understanding I highly suggest go to the manufacturer documentation well, um, at this moment, I will close here the browser, okay, the web browser. And now what I will do is I will finish this presentation, this video, okay? Uh, in this video, I present the PC interface. As I said before, there are three different mechanisms to connect the relay, the protection relay, the cell 751 to a personal computer. One of them is the very basic that I showed you right uh, a few minutes ago. That is the web server that you just need the IP address configuration and you jump into the web browser and having the password passwords and the username, you can log in and see and view uh, settings or change settings, okay? The second mechanism used for connection is the cell accelerator quiz set. That is the cell 5030. I will have a very good video about that later, okay? And finally, the third way to communicate the PC with the protection relay is using the ask, ASCII command. And in this case, you require a PC-based terminal emulation software. Uh, I will not be using and discussing this at the moment. If we need that, we will discuss later, okay? At the moment, I would like to say thank you very much for watching the video. Um, if you want to subscribe, please uh, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep in touch for the next video. That is all for today. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.